the Charming Giraffe and today we are going to do a painting. It's probably going to be a mess. I just have this idea in my head and so I'm going to try it. Um, these are two 8x10 canvases. They are both coated with Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. One is silver and one is gold. The other colors we are using today are all Artist Loft Flow Acrylics. Um, red, green, and blue. Kind of got like a Christmassy theme going on here. Um, the idea here today is to put paint down on the canvas and then I'm going to smush them together and see if we get a cool thing or not. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be super cool. I've never really done this. I think I did it once when I was very first starting out and it was really just, it wasn't an intentional thing. <laughs> it was kind of an accident and it didn't do what I wanted it to do, but it, I wasn't doing anything strategic. Uh, so I'm mildly more hopeful today because I kind of have a plan going in versus just say, hey, let's just do this random thing. Oops. <laughs> um, so yeah. I'm going to try to put tiny amounts of paint down, kind of. Um, so I'm going to try to use the tips. They do tend to get a little clogged, so we'll have to see how this goes. Um, trying to decide how I want to actually pour it on here. I think what I'll do is I'll do the top half of one, maybe at an angle, and then the bottom on the other. So when I smush them, I don't want too much color on both because they're going to transfer colors. So I think that sounds like a good plan. already sinking. Come on. There we go. I'm gonna keep going here. didn't actually work as I was intending it to, huh? No, it should. This corner, no, this corner will hit here. We're going to go for it. I should have done it a little bit differently, I think, but it's okay. And if it doesn't work out perfectly, we can do something else with it. it'll be alright. Let's see. <laughs> They're stuck. Oh yeah, look at that. That's awesome. Absolutely cool. Loving this one. It's got more colors on it because the silver really transferred. The gold didn't really transfer too much here. A little bit of paint, so I'm going to run some of it around. But this looks amazing. <laughs> Alright, I still dig this, I just, yeah, I'm just going to leave it. It's more simple, and it's okay. This one's very busy, this one's not so busy. Can't tell if there's a chunk or if it's bubbles. Yeah, I think it's a chunk. I'm going to torch it and then bring you in for close-up. Alright. 
So I'll bring you in for a close up. And I think both of these will probably end up turning like this way. Like I think I like it this way the best and then I like it this way the best. Sorry for all the shadows. But I'm gonna do the close up the way that you saw me actually do it. <laughs> so there is a little bit of bare canvas. I'll have to um, fix that, but that's not a big deal. I love the lacing. It's almost like a really gentle string pull or something. It's so cool. And I thought the busy one was my favorite. Now I'm not so sure after staring at the simpler one. <laughs> Here's the busy one. We've got all the colors and a lot of that silver transferred over. So it's so cool. We've got all those little cells and lacing and the colors kind of blending together. Got some purple there from the red and the blue mixing. Just really awesome. I'm super excited about this. I'll have to do this some more and maybe plan my paint a little bit better. So, um, it actually, that's what I was hoping it would do, but I'm not disappointed in this by any means whatsoever. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you like this color combination, the technique, if you have any ideas for me to try for future videos um, in this technique or others um, with your colors and whatnot, just leave that all down below. I do want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and do what makes you happy.